What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com and the Press Telegram. It's Mike, and the CIF Basketball Highlight is brought to you by Naples Rube Company, the perfect place to cater your next team event. Let the rain pitter-patter, it really doesn't matter. It's opening night for the CIF High School Basketball Playoffs. We've got the Scottish Dream, the Highlanders, the Rams. Upland taking on a Milliken team that lives on chaos as they have during head coach Chris Francis's entire tenure. And you know how this goes in the playoffs, throw the rules and records out the window, it's all about who wants it more, survive in advance time. Apparently Young Metro doesn't trust either of these teams because both Milliken and Upland came out shooting. Christian Macing, a pair of triples early for the Rams to get things going. But if you're a Milliken fan, you sort of expect to see some of these shots go in. What's got to excite you is plays like these from Ufure Uja de Gailey. As he gets inside, Milliken really not satisfied with launching threes, but really working the ball inside. A lot of dribble drives from Uja de Gailey. Justin Chambers is going to get in on the action, up close and personal, and Milliken's going to ride that inside penetration to a 26-20 halftime lead. Now the Highlanders would catch fire from deep, they're not going to go anywhere. We've got a 39-39 ball game after three quarters, Mason Dickerson trying to get himself going on defense, just two points in the first three quarters, but he would come up huge. Mason from 30 hours away. But it's Oz Stokes for Upland, who had a pair of triples to put them up 53 to 48. Highlanders looking like they might be taking this thing up by five points. Just a couple minutes left in the game, but Dickerson. The Cal Poly Pomona signee coming up so clutch for Milliken with three triples in the fourth quarter. None bigger, obviously, than this shot to put the Rams up 55-54, bang, bang. See the crowd fired up for that one. And then as O finds Chambers for the layup lob, Milliken is going to go up by four points, 58-54. They look like they might be ready to cruise, but Darren Jones says, nah. The awkward turnaround one-handed jumper. And then Milliken, just 16 seconds left, just has to draw a foul, but they turn it over on the held ball call. And these Highlanders team, they were, they were going to take advantage of that. They go straight back to DJ, and he ties it up with seven seconds on the clock. Big O, the chance, but it's a no-go for Big O, and we've got OT at Milliken. It's the O show, though. Six points in overtime, he had 23 total. Made a lot of free throws down the stretch and in overtime. And his 6-0 run is gonna be all that Milliken needs as they play just enough defense down the stretch to whew, talk about survive in advance. Head coach Chris Francis, lucky he doesn't have any hair on his head or they might be gray. He did say he needed to get his heart checked and I don't blame him. 65-60, the final for the Rams. They're moving on in the playoffs once again. We'd like to thank our newest sponsor, Long Beach Transit, their route number one now stops at Cal State Dominguez Hills, South Bay Pavilion, and the StubHub Center, home of your LA Galaxy. That bus will not be taking you to Great Oak, which is where you'll have to go if you want to see Milliken on Friday in the second round of the playoffs. For coverage of that and every other Long Beach basketball game, you got to keep it right here.